guys. Okay, we go back to the lines and check in with Mike. Mike, uh, what's going on tonight, my friend? Mike, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, what's going on, buddy? Mike, turn down your TV set turn and down, just talk oh, uh, to us. Vi uh, turn down your TV set. Can you do that? Yep. Okay, now talk. Oh? Yeah, we're still here. Are you there? Okay, I just think that the fans were... Uh... Hello? All right, thank you, Mike. We'll get that whole television concept out to uh, next time around. All right, back to the phones. Turn down, turn down your TV sets. Uh, give us your thoughts on what happened today with the Winnipeg Jets. Well, what I think about it, uh, it's pretty uh, saddening and sickening that the, the government that uh, was re-elected and all that didn't try to make a harder effort to get him uh, to stay in Winnipeg. And all right, back to the phone lines. Uh, TV sets are down, and your thoughts on what's happened today with the Jets in this city and the NHL. Okay. All go right. Ahead. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Um, Intelligent so far. Yes. <laughs> um, I was just wondering. Okay. Quickly, please. Yeah. With the Jets gone. Yes. Well, is that going to like kill kill our city at all? Uh, well, I uh, <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I don't have my uh, my crystal ball here, but. Yeah, I think it hurts the city. I think uh, there will be a lot of young people who are uh, maybe working in businesses where they can be transferred mm -hmm. to other cities like Edmonton or Calgary or Vancouver yeah. or even Toronto. I, I would say, yeah, sure, I think they're going to be looking for a move. Maybe people who are settled here and have kids and are in school, no, they won't go. But people who are younger and have no ties, why would they not go? Thank you for the call. Let's go to uh, Gary on line one. Gary, are you there? Hello? Yes, Gary. Go ahead. Hi, uh, Gary. Okay, well, whoever you are, go ahead. Could you have just said you were Gary? All Give right. us your comment. Oh, I'm not Gary. you got Gary on the line already right now. Okay, well, go ahead. Hello? Goodbye, yeah. Gary. Let's Give us a call and give your opinion on the loss of the Winnipeg Jets. Let's go to the phones and uh, check in right now with Mike. Mike, are you there? Hello, Mike. Mike. Mike, are you there? Hi. Hi, Mike. Uh, give us your thoughts. Yeah, go in question. When I get an erection, I'm not circumcised. So when I get an erection, it tightens right up, and yes. then I can't pull it back. And then when I have sex, it tears sometimes. Yeah. It's going to be a long winter. One last uh, quick thought or a quick idea on what uh, what you think went wrong? Well, it's these stuck. It's like when I pull it back, sometimes it's these stuck there, and it, I got a hard time pulling it back. But once once the, the erection goes down, then it's no problem. And what's happening now? I got to wait wait for a, a urologist. So in March, I got an appointment for one. But that's we'll a long see, Mike. Wait. Thank like, you very much. This, uh, let's go to Nancy. Nancy, your thoughts. Yes, I've been with my fiancé for 10 years now, and he thinks that I should be able to go fully down on his penis. When I can't, it makes me gag and stuff. Catch it all Tuesday night at 8 with life's most embarrassing moments. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Sportsline. Your thoughts on the Jets? It's over. It's dead. You're like a dead child in a pool of crap. It feels bad. This isn't Winnipeg. But you know what? It was me. It was the popcorn. It was the Colonels. The Colonels did you in. And now you lost. You lost everything. You losers. You died. You died good for nothing. Piece of compliment. Shit town. But you're all gone. Well, I think that's a, that's a fair comment. Uh, we're running out of time for the phone segment. And uh, I don't know if my heart can take any more of these, uh, these phone calls. We'll try later on in the show.